Here at St. Michael's Cathedral, Zoomer Media founder and president Moses Neimer is getting an exclusive tour of the extensive restoration work that is being done here by none other than the Archbishop of Toronto himself, Thomas Cardinal Collins. Tell me, Cardinal, uh, how old is the church itself? Uh, the church was, uh, was consecrated in uh, 1848. So it's, uh, it's been here, it's our oldest church. Uh, it's also one of our biggest churches too. Attention it was once. originally be like this, not as I don't think it's detailed and beautiful as this, but there were stars, a blue ceiling with stars. Uh, very simply done, and now we're trying to be faithful to his vision. And there's a lot of decoration accumulated over the years. It's all been kind of taken away. We now have the clarity and the beauty. And bring it back. And, uh, and this window will now reemerge. Oh, yeah. The window is going to be, it's the most beautiful thing in the cathedral. So this is a vision of what we would eventually like to do. Um, this is the cathedral here. And across from us, we have the legendary St. Michael's Choir School. But unfortunately, the building needs to be replaced. But what we would like to do is rebuild it across the street, and that will free up a couple of buildings there and put a kind of a plaza and a center, St. Michael's Center, for community gatherings, for outreach to those who are in need, to things of that nature. Thank you for this visit. Thank you. It's a, it's a great pleasure. The cathedral will be open briefly for the Christmas holidays, with the completion date set for September of 2016. Here in Toronto, I'm Darren Maharaj for Zed News.